With an FCTV with Chris Agata following tonight's 1 0 win against Welling in the National League South. Aggie, how did you assess it? Um, and then he passed out when we won 1 0. 1 0 clean sheet. I forgot what one of those was, but um, yeah, very happy. Um, delighted with the reaction from the group. Um, we challenged the group to react the same way as what we've done to when we lost against Truro. So, um, and we, you know, we've gone on a decent run and went September unbeaten and started building a bit of momentum and we just said, right, let's try and react, um, but bigger and better. And uh, I thought tonight we were well worth the three points. I thought we probably dominated 70% of the game. Um, I thought we were miles more robust and aggressive and combative out of possession. Um, that for me, like what I saw tonight, was a real step in the right direction in terms of that's the team that I'm proud of as a manager. Right? That's the team there that there wasn't any one out of ten performances and ten out of ten performances, it was like sixes, sevens, eights across the board, like it wasn't perfect, but you know, we were very good. And uh, tonight was the first game where I think myself and the staff where we've come away and gone mm, that's a team that like had a better balance um, change of shape change of personnel yeah we, we, we're happy with that tonight I guess reaction was the key word following Saturday's defeat and, and you got that for, even from minute one you could tell there was a, a little bit more intensity about things they were fired up a little bit more maybe uh, just yeah just a general all round good performance yeah it was it was um uh, that was the message, really. Right? I mean, if you looked at the way that we pressed tonight, if you saw it on the tactics board, you'd, you'd think, hey, that's not going to work. But, and it wasn't perfect. Like, I don't think anything was perfect, but what we did do, we'd done everything together with a good intensity, um, good tempo. We'd done everything with a purpose, and we, we'd done it together. Right? On, on Saturday, you know, there's ways to lose games. Like, we're going to lose games. Like, you know, um, but as long as you sort of go down fighting, you know, I hate losing as you know, but I can live with that. If you, you know, if you go down swinging, and you know, like, if we give Maystone a bit of a bloody nose on Saturday, but they come away with a win, like, that's a lot more bearable. Um, but we didn't do that, and I just felt tonight that win, lose, or draw, just the way that we went about it, um, when it would have come away going, that's, that's tough. Um, and I just, I just. I just liked what I saw in the team today. It was, it was a lot more dogged, as I said, a lot more aggressive, a lot more robust, a lot more intensity to our work. Um, and most importantly, we've done everything together, which was, you know, up, but again, uh, all the pretty stuff that we, I think we've done relatively well. Again, not perfect, but across the whole season, we've, you know, we've scored a few goals and there's been some nice eye-catching attacking moments. I thought we, we saw that tonight. Um, not as much as we would have liked, but there was, there was definitely like, some really good bits, but then we more than matched it with what we looked like out of possession and how aggressive we were. We done just done the ugly things better, and that's really basic. But you got around the right. It's one of the biggest cliches in football, right? And and tonight I felt like we earned the right. Yeah, you, I think you said it after the game on Saturday that the team didn't really know how to win by a goal to nil and yeah. didn't really know how to grind out performances. But it felt like they that that was nailed to a tee tonight. Yeah, I mean, we've got we, you know, us as staff. We've got to take responsibility as well because that's the first time we've played that shape in uh, competitive games this year uh, from the office. Obviously, it's the first time we've we've played that starting eleven. We've we've moved Glenn out of the back line into midfield, and I thought I thought Glenn was superb tonight. Um, Cookie's come in, uh, Cookie Alf. And OB with Hagee along the back line look good. Obviously, Joel coming back into the side. So, you know, we've got to take responsibility for that in terms of we haven't looked like being able to grind out a 1 0 win. And uh, maybe if we'd played that team earlier on and, and played that shape, that, that would have been the case. But I think the most important thing is yeah, shape and all the rest of it is important. But we just worked harder. Right? We come off the pitch and everyone has got sweat on their brow. They've, they've grafted for each other. Like if there was a mistake, somebody else has helped plug the gap. Uh, we've been a bit more cute as well and a bit more streetwise. 
Uh, and I think Glenn going into midfield, I thought Jack Wadden was excellent tonight. Um, yeah, it just seemed that like had a better balance. And Mo Farrell stepped up with the winner tonight. Maybe he didn't have his best night all no. round, but it's those moments that you've gotten for, right? Oh, he's, he hasn't completed 90 minutes yet. He's scored two goals in four games. Um, no pre-season. He's been in the building for five minutes and he's already scored two big, big goals. Uh, yeah, no, he, 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 his all-round game was, uh, it wasn't even average, but he's been brought in to put the ball in there and that's what he's done. So, um, no, I, I, I think, I think uh, obviously there's a, there's a lot of desperation for Worthing to do very well and the expectations are very high and rightly so. Um, but there also needs to be a degree of common sense applied to some of the stuff that, or the feedback that we're receiving. Like, like Mo, Mo's had a fair few pelters from behind me from the home support. And again, people pay their money, they're entitled to their opinion and they're passionate about the club. That's, that's the main thing, like, but like, also think, like, kind of a bit of slack. He's been here five minutes and he scored the winner. And uh, you know he's, uh, he's he's already played a, a key part in those four games. You know it's not perfect, not at all. But nobody was. But he, he's tried, he's worked hard, and ultimately he's done what he's judged on, which is putting the ball in there. So um, yeah, I'd, I'd like a little bit more love for me to be honest. Um, and that's not across the board because I think I'm probably focusing on one percent of what I've heard tonight. But one thing's for sure is that type of feedback that doesn't help anyone. Um, so yeah, I, and I think that'll help Mo move in the right direction, or help the team move in the right direction, and ultimately, if if we can get Mo fit and firing, which um, we're still working towards, he's going to help us do what we want to do. And there were quite a few individual performances worth worth a mention. You've touched on most of them already, yeah. to be fair. In, in Glen Ray, Jack Ward and that midfield pair in a change of shape as well. And Joel Colburn coming back into the team as well. Yeah. He made a vital block at the end as well. Just felt like, as you've already said, it, that a, a lot of the players just were delivering six, seven, eight out of ten. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, Joel's personality, like the way that we played, I, I felt reflected Joel's character. Like aggressive, combative giving everything like not perfect but I just, I just felt like the team mirrored their captain today and you know that that's something that when we look on the game as staff like you go I'm, I'm proud of that like as I said I, I like all the nice stuff and the pretty football and the one touch combination play and all the Aggie ball chat and all that sort of stuff like it's great but the thing that I love most is when you see a team of men that are fighting for each other, that are working hard, that are fighting for the supporters, they're fighting for the club. Right? That that's when you you see Danny Cashman doing what he'd done at Bournemouth the other week, getting back in and recovery running and Jack Spong like desperate to do well. That's that's something that we looked on tonight and yeah, that's that's better. That's, that's but we need to be like that all the time. If if we can if we can find that level of intensity consistently, you've got to be a very good team to beat us. And that, like that, that's for, I've seen enough games now, I've seen enough of the the competition. Um, you know, if if we, if we find that consistency in terms of that type of intensity and find consistency in that intensity and purpose, we'll, we'll be all right. And just a quick word ahead of this Saturday. Uh back in the FA Cup yeah. the chance to make the first round proper for the second year in a row yeah. and that's I think just the second time this century as well yeah. so a huge opportunity away at Plymouth Park where a long long trip as well before. yeah we love a, love a bit of travelling um, yeah I mean well we challenge a group going into the week let's make sure we're five points off top we've done that and let's make sure we're in the first round of the FA Cup and that's, that's the next obstacle so for you know, like I alluded to in pre-match stuff, we know we're nowhere near our best. We know that we're still not sure what our best team is. We know that we haven't got the balance of the team right, although tonight looked much better. But yet we're still five points off top, 
and competing to get into the first round of the FA Cup. So like, like we've consistently said, when it clicks and when we, uh, we find the right fit or solutions or personnel, uh, we will be a very, very good side. So, um, and the fact that we are as short of our best that we are and we're still where we're at, I think there's a lot to be positive about.